but uh, he did, as you say, had a, an extended word with him. Free kick to all shot inside their own half. Laurie Walker will take. And uh, up it goes now towards Willard, who uh, got up a bit gingerly from that foul, but he looks OK now. Tries a shot from distance. It's a brilliant shot on target, and it's palmed away by McDonald. Uh, it was an outrageous thought to even try it from Willard. One or two of the ways in which Aldershot have set up to try and hurt Torquay paid off in the early minutes because they were it was an element of surprise. But that element of surprise is gone now. And Torquay, credit to them, have adapted and they're, they're looking for it. There's a ball chipped over the top and Sinclair Armstrong. Oh, oh thankfully it's a foul because Sinclair... All the shot keepers come out, Corey Jordan's come out, they've collided rather horribly, they're both in a bit of trouble. The ball fell at the feet of Sinclair Armstrong, who walked it into the empty net, but the assistant referee on the far side was flagging immediately for a foul. Now, in on the far side, it is indeed. Um, it's just a little bit misty, and that's the furthest bit away. Packed penalty area. I think Lewis Kinsella... Is he going to? It's a three man wall, so we'll probably need to lift it, bend it, or smash it through and hope for a deflection. Up steps Kinsella left footed, and it's in! It's in! I don't know if anybody's touched it. Oh, the re It's not in. It's behind the goal. I beg your pardon. A lot of people in the ground, myself included, yeah. thought it was in. Flag went up, pointing to the corner flag, and that's what made me doubt it. Apologies, listeners. And now he's in exactly the same position. Free kick then just inside the order shot town half on the left hand side. Dean Moxie lifts it in. Uh, it lands at the foot of Lyons Foster. And then a shot comes in which takes a deflection. And there was a horrible moment, Steve, where that was hanging in the air where I wondered if it was going to loop into the goal. But uh, in the end, it went wide. Corner yeah. to Torquay B. Yeah. And uh, a decent crowd, not too far short of 1,600, awaits a goal. For the shots, maybe, at the East Bank end? Let's see. Kinsella is going to take the corner. It's going to be a left-footed out-swinger. Bus stop queue forming, central, on the edge of the penalty area. Jordan's up there, Adjipong's up there, Silla's up there. In comes the ball, half-cleared. Oh, and then skied over the, over the bar by Adjipong, who, to his credit, I think, was falling off balance as he let fly with the shot. And it ends up in uh, what I call Chucky Erebin territory on the top of the East Bank roof, Steve. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to say here, 27, 28 yards out, something like that. Vennings is over it. Will he take it right-footed? Or will Lewis Kinsella hit it left-footed? It's far enough out to get up and down over a wall. It's also far enough out that you'd expect any half-decent goalkeeper to get an eye on it and catch it, stop it before it goes in. Vennings and Kinsella. Surely for me, from there, it's going to be Kinsella. He does strike it. It's a beauty! It curls in at the East Bank end. Lewis Kinsella has scored what could be the winner for Aldershot Town in the 85th minute here at the EBB. Will it be back-to-back -back wins for the shots? Will it be back-to-back -back home wins? All shot town one, Torquay United nil. Well, we said. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.